Hello everybody, how are you guys? I wanna talk home improvement stuff today. And I'm gonna use our personal home as an example. We have done partial remodel last spring um, of 23. And just little things can make such a huge difference and I kinda of wanna show you. Just doing things to update, to give it a facelift. Uh, we've been in our house for 22 years and it just was time to do some updates. So instead of moving and all of that, we decided we would just do some updates. So I first wanna point out our island, okay? I have white cabinets throughout that I painted, I don't know, 10 or 11 years ago, but the island, I wanted it to pop. So as you can see, we did a black iron ore, Sherwin-Williams iron ore color, and I had them put on some new hardware and we also did shiplap on the side and the front of it. So it completely changes the look of our house, just having that pop of color added to the white and the, some of the black accents that I have in the house. So those type of little things, you guys, is so impactful if you wanna just do some updates that doesn't break the bank. I have a fabulous referral, you guys, for somebody that does all of this woodwork. Um, I'll also show you in my office what I did, um, but it's a husband and wife team and it's Prickly Peach Interiors and they're fantastic. They do very like attention to detail and make things beautiful. So another thing we did was paint this entire room, kitchen, family, dining, hallway, everything pure white. I know a lot of people don't like pure white. I do. My whole house used to be gray. Um, it's been red. It's been tan. <laughs> We've lived here a long time. So it's been a lot of colors, but I really wanted to have just a bright, open space that is clean and then just um, add color or some pops of color, blacks, browns, as you can see, the black clock, you know, just very simple, tasteful, decor, greenery, um, and I think that really is a nice look. I see a lot of bottle homes, and <laughs> that's my inspiration of just doing things very clean and open and bright. I love bright and open, and probably a lot of you do too. So another thing we did is we had built-in shelves in our family room from the builder. These were all little cubby holes, and that's very outdated now. So we we kept the fireplace, and then we took out all of those shelves that were here and just did one big opening so we could hang our TV. And we also painted that black iron ore, um, iron ore color from Sherwin-Williams, same black as that. So I feel like it ties in really well. We had this fireplace shiplapped. Um, just another thing to just give it a little bit of a facelift. I still need to get a wood mantle here but that's coming. Um, I think that will really, really finish it off. We can put some decor up there. So just little things, you guys, of just simplifying. Less is more. You know I'm big on that. Um, you can decorate and have nice things, but just not every nook and cranny, every corner has to be filled with something. So just keep it open. Keep your counters cleared off. It's just a very nice feeling. So now I'll take you in and show my office. So this is another wood feature wall, a geometric pattern um, that we had done from the same husband and wife team. And I love it. She went a little bit bigger on the slats than she normally does. But I feel like that finishes off my office in that, on that back wall just to have a little bit of a pattern. And then I just kind of did a, a geometric pattern rug, kind of tie it all in. We still need to um, finish a few more things. But for the most part, my office is complete. We have new floors in here. This used to be carpet. This is our original floor here, which will be taken out eventually to match this all through the house. So here's a, a better look of my kitchen in this direction. So just very simple, black accents, white cabinets. I am gonna have my cabinets redone um, and refaced. The arches on the cabinets are very outdated. So that will, that will change, but yep. And here is our little insert with the TV and our fireplace area. I have 11 foot ceiling, so it's like a focal point. It's kind of like a wow factor of having shiplap go all the way up just above the fireplace. 
So that's something I was really excited about. Take all those shelves out, hang the TV, and then put like a little cabinet there. Don't mind all the dog toys. There's my cute poochie. But we had all of the walls painted white and then just have whatever accent color you want. I feel like it really opened the space up and made it bright and light. So again, just adding those little things have just made me so happy. I wanted to move for a long time because it just seemed like a big task to redo so many things, you know? And it was just like, oh, it's just like such a monumental task. We still have stuff to do. We still have to finish the floors. But for the most part, I am so happy <laughs> with how everything looks. And I love my house again. Like I said, we've been here 22 years and we built it. Like we built this house. So we picked everything out ourselves, upgraded it how we wanted to. So it's special. My kids have both been raised here. So anyway, you guys, it's real simple to do little things um, to make you love your space again. And it doesn't have to be over the top. It just doesn't. You can just do small things. Redo like a table and just change out your decor. I do that every once in a while. I'll change out a vase or a candle color or just to kind of give it a little oomph. So hope that helps you guys. And just remember to keep things simple, especially if you're gonna sell your home um, or have plans to sell your home in the future, just keeping things simple and clean and kept up. So that's it. And if you guys, I'm gonna put the, um, I'm going to tag, if I can, Prickly Peach Interiors. If not, go on her Instagram and find her, and you will see all the work she does. It's amazing, you guys. So it's Prickly Peach Interiors, and she's here locally in the East Valley of Arizona. So anyway, that's it. See you next time.